What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey, my name is Jeff. This is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on some whiskeys, and if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving them scores as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. With that out of the way, let's jump into our review. Today, we're doing a comparison video. I'm gonna be comparing the McAllen double cask to the triple cask. Stick around. All right, so we're doing a comparison video today. I've got two McAllens with me, both of them 12 years old. I've got the double cask and the triple cask. Now, in a perfect world, I'd have all three 12-year-old McAllens, which would also include the sherry oak. But here in Taiwan, the sherry oak is much, much more expensive than these two here. I'd heard it's discontinued, but then when I check some of the online retailers in Europe, uh, I see that it's still available and it's still sold at a fair price. But that's not the case here in Taiwan, so... These are the two we're looking at today. And if I'm being totally honest, I don't really know what's up with McAllen Productions. I know the, the fine oak got replaced by the triple cask, but I've also heard that since then, the triple cask has been discontinued. I don't know if that's true. Is the sherry oak discontinued? Is it still around? Not sure. If you guys want to clarify some of that down in the comments, go for it. I, uh, I didn't research it. Probably should have looked that up, huh? But yeah, anyway, no 12 sherry oak today, but right out the gate, I'm going to say this. If you can still get it, and it is available, and it is a fair price in a lot of markets, if you can still get the 12 sherry oak, that one would be my favorite of the three. I don't have it here. I won't be comparing it. We're just looking at these two, but yeah, that one, that one's the way to go in my opinion. Still, that doesn't mean that these two are duds. They are interesting whiskeys. They're worth looking at, so yeah. Uh, and listen, this is going to be a McAllen review, which means... We're going to be talking about stuff like uh, prices and value, and we're probably going to have an opinion or two pop up in the comments, and fair play, I love to hear your opinion, but McAllen definitely divides people. Some people love them, some people hate them, some people boycott them, some people collect them, some people think they're overrated, some people think they're amazing. There's no shortage of opinions. Actually, you know what? While we're at it, why don't I put the question out to you guys? Where do you stand on McAllen? We'll do an informal G-Whiskey poll. Do you like McAllen? Do you think they're a good brand? Do you not? Tell me why. When you hear the word McAllen, do you think of bright fields of oranges and fresh spices? Or do you dream of fiery hellscapes where whiskey marketing teams burn in the eternal flames of damnation, their screams of pain gargled as leader after leader, a 40% chill-filtered swill gets shoved down their gullet? So yeah, McAllen, let me know your thoughts. So back to our whiskeys here, the double cask has been matured entirely in sherry barrels. So double cask doesn't refer to bourbon and sherry maturation. What it is is European oak and American oak, both of which have been seasoned with sherry. Now, sherry seasoning is a very, very common practice in the whiskey industry. Uh, the sherry industry doesn't produce enough sherry barrels to keep up with demand from the scotch industry. Now, sherry is usually Solera aged, which means they keep their casks for a very long period of time and there isn't that much turnover. But because of the demand from the Scotch whiskey industry, what they do is they season casks, either European or American oak casks. They let the sherry sit in these casks for a few months before doing whatever else with the sherry, and then off the barrels go to Scotland. So there you go. Our double cask is European and American oak sherry casks. Meanwhile, we've got our triple cask over here. This one has the sherried influence, but it also has an additional bourbon influence. So we've got three casks, the two types of sherry and the bourbon. Bourbon and sherry, of course, it's a classic combo. Both of these whiskeys are 12 years old. They have the same specs. We'll touch on specs in a moment. So our big question of the day, what we want to know is how do these two stack up? Is there one that's better than the other? Spoiler alert, the answer to that question is yes, one of these two is better than the other, but which one? Let's find out, let's jump into our review, and in the meantime, if you could kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. All right, so both of these bottles come in at 40% ABV, which is unfortunate. Uh, for you Americans out there, I believe your bottle should come in at 43%, so lucky you guys. Both of these are chill-filtered whiskeys, and neither is colored. Okay, so I'll show you our natural color there. Um, as for the bottles, why am I holding up two at once? This is heavy, this is a dumb idea. I'm putting them down. As you can see, the double cask is darker than the triple cask, which of course makes sense. We have more of a sherried influence. Uh, I like the look of McAllen bottles. You know, I do think McAllen is a classy whiskey, and no, it's not because the marketing team tells me so. I really do think that. 
And I think that's reflected in the bottle design. I like the elegant bottle shape. I like the simple labels. I think it looks fantastic. Score for presentation is four out of five. Both of these bottles say natural color. They're not gonna brag about being chill filtered. These two bottles look the same, so there's no real point comparing the two. I do think it's a good look, and I like that they're going for like a visual consistency across the line. I have no problem with that. The only difference between these two bottles is that the double cask has two barrels on their little graphic, and the triple cask has three barrels on their little graphic. So double gets two, triple gets three. I ran the numbers. The math adds up. On the nose, the triple cask has the classic orange and gentle spices. We have lemon zest, marmalade, caramel. There's some spicy ginger. There's some cinnamon. There's some butter. There's some fresh apples. There's some apple pie. There's pastries in here. The sherry is more forward than the bourbon, but the bourbon does make its presence felt. Meanwhile, our double cask is immediately richer and rounder. We have more sherry, more red fruits and berries. Of course, we have the oranges and the baking spices in here. We have cinnamon, we have cinnamon buns, we have caramel. This is sweeter than the triple cask, but it's not quite as buttery. Good stuff. So for our palette and finish on the triple cask, first off, it's light and watery, which is not surprising at 40%. We do have a touch of youth in here. It is just a little bit young, for a 12 year old. Our flavors are vanilla, light honey, cinnamon, oranges, tangerines, and apple pie again. We have lingering oranges and baking spices. This is a classic Macallan, but too light. For our palette and finish on the double cask, the arrival is sweet and round with plenty of sherry. We have orange, we have spices, we have cinnamon, we have all the classic Macallan sherry flavors. Now this is still too light but it's more sherry than the triple cask and that sherry lends a certain sweetness and weight to the flavors. So I'll admit this isn't the best side by side because both of these whiskeys are too weak and watery. Uh, they come in at 40%, again, 43% if you're in the States, but these whiskeys have been effectively neutered by the low ABV. Now, I'm not going to carry on about this. We've all heard this rant. We know this rant. I'm lodging the complaint. Moving on. In terms of flavor, both of these whiskeys are fantastic. Now, I'm not a Macallan hater. Uh, certainly the specs, the prices, I definitely take issue with those. But I love the house style. I think it's luxurious. The oranges and the spices, they always hit for me. And both of these whiskeys have the Macallan house style on full display. Our triple cask has more of a lemony zing to it. It's got more pastry notes. It is a little bit brighter. We have more vanillas, more of that bourbon influence. It's the same age, of course, but there is a little bit more youth on display in the triple cask. Meanwhile, the double cask, we have more richness, more thickness. We have caramel, we have butterscotch, we have cinnamon, we have red fruits, etc. So in other words, the sherried one tastes more sherried and the bourbon and sherry mix Tastes like more of a mix of bourbon and sherry. Yep, these are the hard-hitting observations that you guys keep tuning in for. Anyway, which one of these is better? Tough choice, that's gonna come down to your personal preference, but for me, I'm gonna land on the double cask. I like the double cask more. I do like the triple cask, I think it's a good whiskey, but McCallan's claim to fame has always been sherry, and it's just better when they go all in on it, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, the sherry oak is my favorite, but here in Taiwan, that's too expensive. So these are the options I'm left with, and I do like the double cask more. Like I said, I do like the triple cask, but I think it suffers more from the low ABV than the double cask. And that's just because the double cask is more sherried, and that sherry lends a certain sweetness and a certain weight to our flavors that just make it feel more substantial. Still too light, though. So in terms of score, I'm going to give the triple cask an 84. I do quite like it for a 40% whiskey. I think it's delicious. I like the buttery, flaky pastry notes that we get in there. Meanwhile, for the double cask that gets one point higher, I'm going to give that one an 85. I think both of these are pretty decent options when it comes to 40% whiskey. They do have the luxurious Macallan character. They have the oranges and the spices. Both of them do have a sherry touch. These are elegant whiskeys. So yeah, decent whiskeys. Good stuff, I do enjoy them, uh, and there you have it, that's my hot take on these two. Uh, but the thing is, they are Macallans, and no conversation about Macallan is complete until you touch on value. 
which we're going to do in a second. First, I do want to hear from you guys. Have you tried these two whiskeys? Have you tried the Sherry Oak as well? Do you have a favorite Macallan 12 year old? Let me know down below in the comments. And all right, let's talk about value. So when we're talking about value, these are both entry level whiskeys. They come in at 40%. They have weak specs. I don't think they're a great deal. I don't think they represent good bang for buck. But that being said, I do find myself coming back to McAllen every so often. Every few years, I'll buy another bottle. Clearly, I've got two on the shelf right now. And that's because I do love the house style. Not because of all the marketing, not because of all the fluff, but because I genuinely enjoy the whiskey. Is it too expensive? Yes. But in terms of recommending these whiskeys to you, I don't feel comfortable doing that. They are too expensive. Unless you know McAllen, unless you like McAllen, unless that's what you want. Like, even for me, even though I keep crawling back to them every few years, it's reaching the point now where it's just too much money and that money is better spent elsewhere. So I don't know how many more McAllens I'll be picking up down the line. All right, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to help support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. Otherwise, you can like, comment, and subscribe. As I said earlier, I do want to hear from you. Give me your thoughts on McAllen's. Uh, and finally, down in the comments below, you can let me know what you want to see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.